guys asked me to come over and like lock me in a room, <laughs> have me test all the foundation and tell you which one I prefer the most and how I will apply it. I'm looking for something a bit sheer and not too dry. Foundation has to be like a second skin. So I tried a bunch and I think I'm gonna go for the Armani. The reason why I'm not a huge fan of foundation is because I really love the texture of real skin. But I'm gonna try to see because I know there is women that needs it or they feel good. I understand that it's also like a protection. So I'm gonna try this guy. I'm gonna remove what I have. Makeup is always about an optical illusion. If you only have foundation where you need it, but the rest is bare, no one will think you have foundation and will think that it's your real, your real skin being like this. So first thing I want to do is wet this brush. And I'm gonna have my foundation. So this one is Irony number 6.5. And I'm gonna pat it where under my eyes and more in the center of my face, like where I need it. I'm gonna put it around my lips and with my finger I'm gonna like blend it too. Again, so I apply it under my eyes. Foundation is also used to like make your skin more plump and more smooth. It's not only to cover and hide imperfection. I never ever apply foundation on the nose. The nose is the center of the face, usually you have some freckles on and I think I do have a bit of freckles and I think it's, again, it's an optical illusion. Like if it's the middle of the face and the center of the face is bare, the side of the face is bare, again, it's gonna create this idea that you don't have foundation. You can apply like what I did around my nose, a little bit here, but then this is gonna be bare. So sometimes even some women, they like to cover it all, do it, and then you take your white and you're just gonna clean the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna do now, because foundation I think when you, especially a little bit later, when you're hot, you can have the oil of the face mixing with the oil and foundation and then, then you start to look a little bit less clean. So I'm gonna put a bit of powder under my eyes and a little bit around my nose and my chin. Maybe just the tip of the nose, but that's it. So I would say between oily and glowy there is one step. Shiny hair is not glowy, it's oily, shiny hair is not glowy, it's oily. Shine here, shine here, and here it's glowy. So that's something I learned from my painting school because when you're supposed to make the skin look super fresh, you know where you have to put the white to create the highlight. So I do exactly the same technique with makeup. I'm gonna use a magic luminizer from RMS. I'm gonna apply this on the cheekbone with my finger on the cupid's bow, a bit on the bridge of the nose, and the chin. So this is like a pearly cream, so just to make it like even more dewy, I'm gonna put this lid tint from Billy and Dempsey. It's like a, for lids, but I love it on the face, just to make it even more dewy. Now I'm gonna use this hourglass brush. And this is the Orgasm from NARS. I'm going to focus on the eyeball. Then I'm going to try this guy. So this is from La Prairie. I really love the texture. It's very smooth balm on my eyes. And this is for the lips. The texture is really, really nice. So for my eye, I'm going to use this ColourPop name Hammered. So thanks to the base, that I use on my eyes. It's so like smooth and easy to apply. So this, I'm just gonna put it on the top eyelid and I'm gonna blend it a little because I want it to be a little bit more transparent. So again, this base I put before will really help me achieve this effect of like a tinted eyelid. So that's the Dior Addict number six, Lip Glow. And I love it because it's like really like the skin color of my lips. That's it.
So I really, really think the secret is to not put any foundation on your nose. For girls that have freckles, it's a key. I mean, it's the, it's the best because then you can really pretend like you have no foundation. The proof, freckles are the proof, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I do have a tiny bit of freckles, so that's gonna help me to cheat as well. What am I gonna take to touch up during the day now that I have foundation? So I'm gonna keep this for me. It's really nice. Maybe I'll touch up more with a powder a little bit in that foundation. I think this to bring some glue if I need to. And that's it.